Good morning. We actually are on here during morning hours today. What are you doing? I thought you were going to sit in my lap. Um, I just put Sam to um, that baseball weightlifting. And now I'm home to wrestle with this guy. And then we'll go pick him up in a little bit. Jenna's at volleyball. I talked to Inga last night. Okay, you can get down. You can get down. I talked to Inga last night at church camp. She called at like 10.30. She's like, hey, mom, what are you doing? I was like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> what are you doing? And she's just like wound up and she's having like the best time. I, I had no doubt that she would, but this was like the longest she had ever been away from home. And um, I just wasn't sure how she would do, but she's like having so much fun. So today's like the last day of church camp. And then tomorrow, Evie and Liam and Inga will, will be back home. So I'm excited to hear about camp and see them again tomorrow. Today, I think we might try to record another podcast episode. And, oh, thank you. What do you want, hash browns? I want some hash browns. You already had oatmeal. You're up. And then tonight we're going to, hi, Bruno. We're going to make pork and potatoes and green beans for dinner. Jenna and I like to plan our dinner in the morning. It's really fun. Like we sit down in the mornings and say, what are we making for dinner tonight? And um, she, she has fun with that. So, yeah. So that's what we're having for dinner. We have no plans today other than stuff this morning. So it's going to be one of those awesome home days, long, long summer days at home. So we'll see where the day takes us. Probably lots of cuteness. Lots of wild cuteness from you. You say bye-bye? Okay. Say have a good day. Bye-bye. 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 You like oatmeal, Bubba? Goodness. You like to use a spoon like a big boy? Your spoon. <laughs> You're a big boy. Being shy. Ah. Oh, that's a good bite. Ah. You gonna put it in your mouth? You gonna eat it? I'm so excited for the kids to arrive home from church camp so that we can get our family picture in our homebody gear. But I want to take a minute to show you what these look like, even though we're not wearing them today. Um, these shirts are ones that are not just like your regular fundraiser shirt that you wear um, once and you never wear again. These are probably going to be like favorite type of shirts because it's not just a regular, just stiff cotton shirt. Um, these are like a cotton poly blend. They're very soft and they're just so comfortable and so cute. I just love everything about them. Um, like this one right here is a polyester viscose blend and you can just see like how soft and like just thin m material it is. And I just know these are going to be favorites. Um, this lightweight sweatshirt, this is embroidered. So this is going to last so long. It's lightweight, it can be worn all seasons. And the tote, I'm, and the totes are so cute. Um, the first 100 people that ordered shirts are going to be getting a tote. These are going to be shipping out a little bit later. Um, so don't worry if you get your shirt and you didn't get your tote. It's going to be shipping um, separately. But the totes are super cute. I know I'm going to be carrying mine around all the time. Um, but I just wanted to take a second to show you the actual product in person because I wasn't able to do that until now. And just kind of show you the quality because... The quality is something that when Chelsea and I were designing these, that's something that we will never skimp on on our clothing lines is quality. Um, we always will have the best quality shirts, the best quality hats, 
And we, we, the goal is that all of our clothing lines are going to be ones that are like favorite ones that you'll wear all the time, not just ones that you wear once and you don't wear again. But these are like future favorite shirts right here. But now you hold me in the darkness, hold me till it hurts as you. Tell me that I'm alright, show me where the light shines through. But now you hold me in the darkness, hold me till it hurts as you. Tell me that I'm alright, show me where the light shines through. Can we edit that out? <laughs> Welcome to Good Morning Mama. We're two instant best friends with a combined 13 children, ages newborn to 16. Talk about all things motherhood. Are you, you're yelling for Liam? It's so cute. Say Liam. Liam. <laughs> Where is Liam? Is he at church camp? Where'd he go? Say Liam. Liam. He'll be back tomorrow, okay? You'll see him tomorrow. He'll give you a big hug. He's spinning, spin. He's spinning, spinning. Did you accidentally spill the peas? Are you sweeping it? Sweep up the peas. You gonna clean up your mess? Say mess mess. Good job. Do you like do you like potatoes? Is that yummy? Potatoes are yummy. Yep. You like pork? You like applesauce? Bo looks very white compared to you. You're so tan. <laughs> you have fun. Find him. Find the toy. You having fun, Bubba? <laughs> Bo likes the pool. I want to tell you about this company called Elfin Around. So, this is a company that has ideas for Christmas time when the elf shows up. They um, they have activities and they even have them color coded and tell you when to do them and they actually have an extra kit for if you have more than one child that is participating 
in the e.l.f. shenanigans every year. But they make it very easy so that you can have the e.l.f. do fun activities with your kids um, during Christmas time. This is just a fun activity that we've done, I mean, probably 13 years now with our kids. And as they get older, of course, they don't participate. But And they actually help do the activities for the younger kids. But the younger kids just love this so much, and I love these ideas, and I'm already looking forward to Christmas.